Hi boys and girls, today our lesson in math is going to be solving for an unknown using addition. Um, now this is a review, we've done this several times before. Um, so when we have a missing add-end, if we have seven plus blank equals 13, there are a few different ways we can solve it. We're gonna talk about um, ways to solve this one and then we'll talk about some other ways to solve the other equation. So if you draw a picture, I could draw seven stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can draw something else that would belong there, but my sum or my total needs to add up to 13. So if I take the seven and then I start counting on while I'm doing my picture, we will get up to the sum of 13. So that's seven, I put seven in my head, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So our answer in the blank is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So that answer would be six. We could also show that same answer with counters. If I start with seven red counters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna show yellow counters until I get up to our sum again, which is 13. So I put seven back in my mind, and I'm gonna count on till I hit my, our sum, which is 13. So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I need to just count the yellow ones now to put my answer in, right? Because this one's seven, the other part is going to be six. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six just like the hearts, those are both the same. A third way we could solve this unknown, solve for this unknown is using a number line. So if we start at seven, and we're going to count the jumps that we make, okay? We're not counting the numbers, we're counting the jumps. So we start at seven and we're gonna jump until we get to our sum again. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer again is six. Make sure you're just counting the jumps that you make. Then for the other problem, we're doing blank plus 10 equals 16. So this is a person with a little bit of hair on top, but they are going to start with the biggest number that we have, which is our only number. If we were just adding two numbers, we would still start with the biggest number. We're gonna start with our 10. Put it in our heads, put your 10 in your heads, put 10 in your heads, then let's count until we get to our sum. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let's see how many numbers this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our answer up here is 6. 6 plus 10 equals 16. And the last way we'll talk about today to solve this equation is with a 10 frame. So I drew my two 10 frames here. I started with the 10 here that we that we know we have, that's one of our add-ins. To find the missing add-in, we're going to fill in the other 10 frame until, again, until we get to our sum. So let's do this. We're gonna start with the largest number, which is 10, and then we're gonna draw the ones we needed to get to the sum. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And just by looking at this 10 frame, the one we subitized most of the year, we know that there are six, six um, items in that 10 frame, so our answer would be six. So if you need to review any of these, you can go ahead and rewind and, and look at them again.